Monument Valley, located on the Navajo Nation, which is a reservation at the Arizona-Utah border, is an iconic symbol of the American West. This breathtaking landscape is filled with towering sandstone buttes and mesas that rise dramatically from the earth, reaching heights of up to 1,000 feet. All of these beautiful features are the result of nature and many years of erosion that sculpted the sandstone into the distinct shapes that define the landscape today. However, there's one place that can be found north of Monument Valley that seems way too precise to be the work of nature and erosion, a place with perfectly rectangular and cubic blocks, all possessing exact 90-degree angles and all cut in precise straight lines. Their dimensions are as accurately executed as the cuts made by a laser cutter on sheet metal, leaving the surface of the blocks perfectly smooth. That tip would have fit perfectly right here. The place recently got some attention from the POV channel on YouTube, who was fascinated by the site's precise geometry, comparing the configuration of the blocks to giant Legos. Curiously, he also noted that in some places, it appeared as if there were missing blocks. But how is this possible? The cliff and the blocks themselves are made from sandstone, a sedimentary rock composed mainly of sand-sized mineral particles and rock fragments. But sandstone doesn't naturally cleave like that. Some of the blocks are perfect cubes, and upon measuring them, the POV channel noted that all sides measure almost exactly 21 feet. This means that the cubic blocks alone are around 670 tons. The massive rectangular ones could be around 900 tons. A massive portion of the site looks already pre-cut, where all of the blocks look like they were already segmented into precise pieces and left there ready for their extraction. Could this really have been an enormous quarry of an advanced ancient civilization? Curiously, there are ancient drawings on the site, probably left by the Navajo people. The drawing depicts humanoid beings, together with the spiral symbol. You can see there's several humanoid drawings. One right here, one right here, and right there. In Navajo belief, the spiral symbolizes the concept of time, and they believe that time is not viewed as linear, but cyclical. The site, along with many others in the area, including the entirety of Monument Valley, is considered sacred by the Navajo. They believe it was created by the holy people, as they call them. Navajo beliefs suggest that the rock formations and buttes of Monument Valley are the remains of ancient beings who once roamed the earth. These beings were destroyed due to their actions and by the will of the gods, with all that was left of them being the large rock formations and buttes, serving as guardians of the land and reminders of the past. But here's what's interesting. In Navajo mythology, the world has undergone several cycles or ages, each ending with a catastrophic event leading to the destruction of the previous civilization and the emergence of a new one. According to the legend, the first and second worlds were destroyed due to discord and conflict. In the third world, the inhabitants became corrupt and disrespectful. The gods, displeased with this behavior, decided to cleanse the earth with a great flood. There's no point in telling you the full story, as it's almost identical to the story of Noah's Ark. In fact, we have an entire documentary in which we discussed all great flood stories around the world and how they all narrate the exact same story, a story of an advanced civilization destroyed by a major cataclysm. Does that mean that the site in question could be an ancient quarry from a civilization that was wiped out by a great flood thousands of years ago? Curiously, there are many coral fossils visible on the surface, suggesting the entire site was once underwater. Looking at the precise angles and smooth surfaces of the gigantic blocks, you may notice similarities with other massive blocks around the world, like the ones in Baalbek. The Baalbek stones, 
part of an ancient complex in Lebanon, are among the most intriguing architectural relics of the ancient world. The Trilithon are three massive stones that form part of the podium of the Temple of Jupiter. Each stone weighs an estimated 800 tons. The true age of this gigantic megalithic platform remains a mystery to archaeologists, although many believe they are at least 9,000 years old. The ancient Phoenicians, Greeks, and Romans built their structures and temples upon the massive foundation, yet nothing of their construction matches the sheer scale and engineering prowess demonstrated by the Baalbek stones. These colossal blocks were precisely cut and placed with remarkable accuracy and fitted together perfectly. The methods used in the transportation and assembly of these stones continue to baffle historians and engineers alike. Adjacent to these, there lies an even larger stone block, known as the Stone of the Pregnant Woman, lying in a nearby quarry. This stone is estimated to weigh around 1,000 tons. Many believe that such feats could only have been achieved by an advanced ancient civilization possessing technology or knowledge lost to time. Consider the fact that even today, with our modern machines and technology, it's impossible for us to lift these massive blocks at Baalbek, let alone stack them on top of each other. But although we know the Baalbek stones are man-made, we can't confirm the same thing about the Navajo stone blocks there's still the possibility that they're a natural formation. While nature does not cut sandstone into blocks with the precision of human-made tools, natural processes can lead to the formation of block-like structures. Initially, sand accumulates in layers through sedimentation, often in basins or low-lying areas where it is compacted as more sediment is deposited on top. Over millions of years, this compacted sand becomes cemented into solid rock through lithification, where minerals like quartz or calcite fill the spaces between the sand grains, binding them together. As tectonic forces act on the Earth's crust, these sandstone layers can be uplifted, exposing them to surface conditions. When exposed, sandstone undergoes weathering and erosion, influenced by factors like wind, water, temperature changes, and biological activity. These erosional processes can carve the sandstone into distinct shapes, including block-like structures, especially along natural lines of weakness such as joints and bedding planes. If we explore the natural wonders of our planet, we can find many geological masterpieces that mimic the precision of human craftsmanship and showcasing perfect geometry. Among these is the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. This extraordinary landscape is composed of around 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, mostly hexagonal, that descend like steps into the North Sea. Formed around 50 to 60 million years ago due to intense volcanic activity, the rapid cooling of lava upon contact with the sea resulted in the contraction and fracturing of the surface into these astonishing columnar shapes. The uniformity and neatness of these columns resemble a man-made sculpture. Across the Atlantic in California, the Devil's Post Pile National Monument showcases a similar phenomenon. Here, the high columns of basalt rise majestically, forming a symmetrical, organ-like structure. This natural phenomenon occurred when a lava flow cooled and shrank, cracking into multi-sided columns. The near-perfect uniformity of these columns, some reaching heights of over 60 feet, is a stunning example of nature's geometric precision. Iceland's Svartafoss, or Black Falls, is another marvel of natural architecture. Surrounded by dark lava columns, which sharply contrast with the white of the cascading water, Svartafoss has inspired human creations with its striking geometry. These basalt columns formed inside a lava flow that cooled slowly and cracked into hexagonal patterns. In Scotland, the island of Staffa is home to Fingal's Cave, famous for its naturally formed basalt columns. 
Much like the Giant's Causeway, Staffa's columns were formed by the cooling of volcanic lava, creating a cathedral-like structure. In the heart of Europe, the Czech Republic's Panska Skala, or Lord's Rock, is another intriguing geological formation. Often referred to as the Organ Pipes, this formation consists of a cluster of basalt columns that rise from the ground in a harmonious vertical array, mirroring the pipes of a grand organ. All of these sites illustrate the diverse and fascinating ways in which natural forces shape our world. Yet, it's intriguing to note the absence of formations exactly like those in the Navajo Nation, where the precision of the natural stone blocks seems almost too exact to be a product of nature alone. This distinctiveness may stir a sense of curiosity and skepticism about the purely natural origins of such exact formations. Indeed, the exactitude of the natural stone blocks in the Navajo Nation with their clean lines and orderly appearance may seem to stretch the bounds of natural geological processes. This observation invites viewers to ponder the forces and conditions that contribute to the formation of such remarkably precise natural structures. Let us know what you think about the site. Do you believe it's a natural formation or a massive ancient quarry used by an advanced civilization? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want to explore another incredible site, you can watch our video on the Kaimanawa Wall an ancient megalithic structure built by a prehistoric civilization in New Zealand. The link is in the top pinned comment. 